Daniel 3, 8. Kol kol veil dana be zimna. Karevu guvrin. Kas daim va akalu. Kar hon di yehudaye. And that brings us to saluk sof pasuk. Let's go back to the beginning. We have this phrase we have seen before, and it has meant therefore before. The only difference is now here at Daniel 3, 8, it's not really clear why is it that there's a therefore? What's the logical idea here? And there might be a slight hint in what comes next all the way to the Zakev Katon in this expression. You remember what this meant? The, the bait and then the third person feminine singular suffix and then using the time word of an appointed time. Therefore, at the appointed time, what's about to unfold may have been something that people saw was an opportunity, and they were taking that opportunity at that time. So next up, we have a pa'al, perfect, third person, masculine plural, of the kof, resh, bait, verbal root. They approached. Well, that is the verb. What is the subject? It's coming up here. The men of the Chaldeans, and that gets us to the Atnah. Now, in chapter 2, there are two verses with a Kativ Kare relationship where there were two different spellings of Chaldeans, and it's interesting here, without any Kativ Kare, the text goes with the Kare reading from before. So continuing on, here we have another Pa'al perfect, third person masculine plural, and you, you have Aleph, Kaf, Lama. It's the consuming idea. They consumed, and we're going to have an idiomatic expression here, and they consumed what? Their pieces. So it's their, third person masculine plural, referring to the Jews. So the pieces of the Jews, something like that, they ate the pieces of the Jews. Like they ate them to pieces. What's that about? This is just a, a fixed expression, meaning, meaning they accused them. So who's the them? It's the Jews. So all together, therefore, at that time, like at the appointed time, maybe the time that they had planned, the men of the Chaldeans approached and they accused the Jews. Now, this is the first time we've seen this word, and it only appears in Aramaic Daniel and Ezra, not Hebrew Daniel and Ezra, just to refer to Jews as Jews. It only appears in the Aramaic sections of those books.